Now, I want to raise some challenges to making the ask. Uh, maybe you're going to be in a conversation with a donor. Maybe you're going to be in a conversation with a program officer at a foundation or a representative uh, of a government agency that's sponsoring your program. Uh, these are the five most common reasons uh, to avoid asking for support. Again, related to some of those underlying uh, dynamics um, that we even feel when we're having our own personal money issues. And that's societal taboos associated with discussing money. Uh, you know, we can be frank about lots of things, things in the popular culture, uh, politics, um, but there's often not that same frankness when talking about money. Uh, we think that it's impolite to talk about money uh, uh, in society. And so, so we were raised to avoid those conversations. I know at least we are in the United States. Uh, fear of rejection. Uh, you know, we talked earlier about this idea of rejecting beliefs that society or family puts on us. Well, you know what? Sometimes we're afraid to be rejected, right? Like sometimes hearing a no um, can, can, you know, make us uncomfortable. And so maybe we don't want to hear that no. We might have a problem making an ask on behalf of our organization. There are myths about salesmanship, right? We have the, uh, you know, the stereotype of the used car salesman or or kind of a slick person trying to sell you something uh, in, a, in a consumerist society. And so we don't want to feel like we're a salesperson for our cause because we, we feel some, some sense of integrity around it. Um, the power imbalance that I mentioned a moment ago between a have and a have not or a have less, right? So maybe we have to address the idea that do I feel a sense of imbalance in terms of power in this conversation? And lastly, embarrassment about need. Uh, if you and your own person personal life don't like to ask for help or, or, or feel like you're uh, needy in any particular way, maybe that spills over into our professional lives when we're fundraising. And so these challenges, and, there, and maybe there are others that you can think of, might be uh, getting in the way of having powerful conversations about raising money.